with Nick Mar Water. We're a water treatment dealership in South Central Pennsylvania, serving the area since the late 70s. We serve the York, Harrisburg, Hanover areas. Um, one of the items we take care of in water treatment is nitrate remediation. What are nitrates anyway? Well, it's a naturally occurring form of nitrogen. Um, it occurs uh, as a result of animal waste and fertilizer. When the water hits the ground, it goes through the aquifer, either goes into your well or into the municipal water system. How do we take care of that? Typically two methods. One is through reverse osmosis, which would be a dedicated faucet and also is connected to your ice maker. And uh, that's the preferred method for me. It's the most economical versus whole home, which we'll talk about in a second. The uh, uh, reverse osmosis is uh, typically would cost somewhere between $600 to $1,000 for the most elaborate system. Um, so let's talk about the uh, whole home system, which occurs in the basement. It's a product that looks similar to a water softener. Now we're down in the basement. Uh, upstairs we showed you reverse osmosis for nitrate removal. And now we're going to show you a whole house. This is a water softener and typically are used to soften water. There's a resin tank inside of here. I have one sitting out here so it's more visual. Inside of that resin tank is softening resin. It's kind of a brownish color typically. And that's used to remove the hardness out of the water. We can use that same principle to do nitrate reduction with a different kind of resin. It uses a, a lighter colored resin and it's selective for the nitrate. It's called anion resin and it functions very similar to a water softener. The nice thing about this, there's no filters to change and it'll do large volumes. It is possible to mix these two types of resins. Typically I don't recommend that. That depends on the water chemistry. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call at 717- 253-5157 or go to our website nickmarwater.com.